Hello, Dr. G here. I'd like to give you a brief message about anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a result of an allergic reaction that can cause a serious drop in blood pressure, and sometimes it also causes a swelling of the upper airway. And a combination of these two things can sometimes actually result in death. Today I want to talk about a recent report that was published in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. In this report, they found the causes of these anaphylactic reactions, and they're often caused by food and then also envenomations like bee stings and bites from various animals. So it's the bee stings and the peanuts that are causing allergic reactions that we hear about so often, and that's why people carry around an EpiPen. Now today, I've noticed it's not unusual to see on preschool doors peanut-free zone, and this is to help protect kids that might have a peanut allergy. But what actually is the most common cause of anaphylaxis? Well, this report tells us that the most likely thing are drugs that your doctor prescribes. In fact, if you combine all the foods, all the bites, all the sting deaths from anaphylaxis, and then you triple that number, you'll get to the deaths that are caused by drug anaphylaxis. Now, because there isn't a registry for anaphylaxis deaths, many times the drugs involved are never named. But when the drug was named, 40% of the time it was an antibiotic. Another leading cause of drug anaphylaxis besides the antibiotics was radiocontrast agents. These are used when you get the MRI or CT scan with contrast. The other drug that's been found to cause anaphylaxis the most are the chemotherapy drugs that are used to treat cancer. Now this should be a warning about the temptation to take an antibiotic when you get a cold. An antibiotic will have no effect on the virus that's causing your cold and it will disrupt the normal flora of your intestines. Recent studies have shown that this can occur for up to a year, but it also might cause an anaphylactic reaction, which can sometimes result in death. Now, what do I personally do when I'm coming down with a cold? I use an over-the-counter silver solution that I get in the health food store. It's great for treating a cold because silver not only helps bacterial infections, but it also treats viral infections. Drugs do have their place, but it's far less than what the typical doctor prescribes. Now, I want you to ask questions and find out about possible alternatives. This is Dr. G. And thanks so much for watching.